Hello world, what's going on? All the Chico Bellas, put your hands up because in today's episode of Cake Up My Makeup, I will show you how to do makeup on uh, deep set eyes, quite deep set eyes. First, I applied a primer under the eye and on the eyelid as well, especially under the eyes. Sometimes it really helps because it fills the little wrinkles and uh, makeup doesn't crease so the foundation or the concealer underneath doesn't go in a crease you've seen this so many times but this time i will blend the pencil there up so first you see me blending it downwards downwards that i don't make a mess because i don't want to pull that i can i flick out i'm blending it downwards and then i'll go up making that butterfly wing you see there like a c shape that I'll angle on the outer corner like I'm doing now. And um, this is how she gets the butterfly wing look. I thought that all the misleading products uh, are, are, are great, but the eyeshadows, I don't find that amazing. They still did the job and I uh, used purplish one, aubergine, that was slightly sparkly because I wanted to bring the eyes forward. Deep set eyes are pulled more in the back, I mean pushed more in the back of the face. Therefore, if uh, I'm using something sparkly, it brings them forward. But um, you don't need to do this all the time, you know, that darker part there could be totally matte and, and it would look great. Because the main idea is to push that brow bone there more in, uh, in the back and bring the part that is in the back of the face more forward. That's why it's so sparkly. I'm applying an eyeliner and if you see me struggling is because uh, she has, uh, Zala has um, fake eyelashes and I caught one eyelash in the brush and I think this might be quite um, difficult for girls wearing such eyelashes as well. I'm not such a fan of, of the eyelashes but I understand when, when it's summer this comes very handy. And uh, for all of you new or maybe the ones who haven't yet checked our uh, website, go on it and um, subscribe because we, we will soon have a blog ready. This is something new so to also check it out. I was contouring her face just where um, I wanted to give a bit more depth to it. Um, the sun actually wouldn't hit her hair obviously because she has her hair over but still uh, if she would be wearing her hair they pulled back this is how it would get um, like make her face a bit more 3d if you can say like this uh, and then the contour from the cheek i really blended it well and i applied a primer before because zala has drier skin therefore this um, primer uh, made everything else slide like glide on nicely including the foundation now which is very dry because if if i wouldn't apply their primer i would make a big mess um, because i just wouldn't be able to blend all the moist uh, products and this was a bit of a mistake using wax to fill her brows because um, she had like sparse eyebrows uh, I would, it would be better if I would use powder. Now, check how I'm doing the, the lips. I'm going slightly over. I said like, I'll, I'll make big, bigger lips, more, um, how would you call that? Uh, like hookup style, no? No, that was a bit naughty. Um, <laughs> anyway, I'm just adding the, the uh, edge there. A millimeter over her edge. And now to even accentuate that contour that I did. I'm going over with Kevin Alpine's um, contouring powder. But then on the cheek was a very, very light application, otherwise she would just look black. <laughs> and uh, I bought these uh, uh, highlighting creams, uh, which lots of times melt makeup. And, and it's not just these, that pretty much everything, like all the highlighters, um, you need to be quite careful how you apply them. That's why I was tapping them on. This is how the makeup looked like. It's quite easy to do makeup on deep set eyes. So if you struggle, just write me. I'll try to help you out with your questions. And once again, 
we will soon open a blog. So go on our website and uh, subscribe. I'll see you soon. Take care. Ciao, ciao.